Hey everyone, great to see so many faces out there. You know, I read today that scientists performed a transplant using a genetically modified pig liver for a human recipient. And I thought to myself, wow, science is really saving our bacon, isn't it? It got me thinking, if we can customize pig organs, what else can we fix with a little genetic tweak? My dating profile could use some work. Have you ever thought about how dating apps and organ transplants are kind of similar? You're basically swiping for compatibility. Oh, this one looks nice. Oh, positive. Non-smoker. Enjoys long walks on the beach and not rejecting my immune system. Imagine updating your profile. Just got a liver update. Now 20% more efficient at processing tequila. Let's take shots and see if we're a match. You know how assembling IKEA furniture feels like you need a degree in engineering? I'm waiting for the day when we get flat pack organs. This heart comes with an Allen key and indecipherable instructions. If you feel lightheaded or short of breath during assembly, please consult your manual. I can't even put together a bookshelf without leftover parts. I'd hate to see what I do with extra valves. Apps run our lives now, right? There's one for everything. I'm waiting for the app that lets you tweak your body like a character in a video game. Oh, you want better kidneys? That's 10,000 steps, or $99.99. Watch me, I'd be jogging in place at work to earn enough points for a new spine. Why is Kevin running? Oh, he's just grinding for that 2020 vision upgrade. Ever notice how you end up with more Tupperware lids than containers? I'm convinced there's a parallel universe where they're doing organ transplants and wondering why do we have more kidneys than people? It's also like socks in the dryer. There's a mystery dimension filled with lost items. If we can genetically modify organs, can someone please fix the Tupperware to lid ratio? Speaking of modifications, remember school lunches? Mystery meat could have really used some genetic editing. Today's special is chicken, now with enhanced flavor and less existential dread. But if we start modifying everything, I imagine reading labels like this apple now comes with built-in Wi-Fi. Great! My fruit now has better connection than my phone. Isn't it amazing? We can genetically modify organisms, but we can't find a way to not lose our keys. Imagine if we could engineer a tiny organ, a key pancreas, that just generates new keys when we lose them. Honey, have you seen my keys? No, just grow a new set. And watch, I'd still misplace my pancreas. We're living in a time when our cell phone's battery life is a genuine concern for survival. Sorry, I can't go out tonight. My survival rate drops to 10% when my battery does. Imagine if we treated our own energy like phone batteries. I'd love to help you move this weekend, but I'm at 20% and saving it for emergencies, like binge-watching my favorite show. Self-checkouts were supposed to make life easier, but have you ever been frustrated by using one? Please place the item in the bagging area. I did! Unexpected item in the bagging area. That's my patience in the bagging area, and it's running low. 
If we can transplant organs, can we transplant patients? Asking for a friend. We're genetically modifying animals, but can we not engineer a sock that comes back from wherever it goes? I envision a future where socks are microchipped, and there's an app for that. Ping! Your sock is currently enjoying a vacation in the Bermuda Triangle. Throughout history, people took risks. Columbus sailed the ocean, astronauts went to the moon, and in 2023, Kevin decided to cut his own hair. In an age where we can edit DNA, you'd think we could make hair that cuts itself to the perfect length. Instead, we gamble with our dignity, snipping away while our hairline silently prays. You know, with all this talk about organ transplants and genetic editing, I'm over here like, can someone genetically engineer an adult that knows what they're doing? Because last I checked, my adulting gene is faulty. I need an update or a patch, something that adds understanding taxes and knowing how many days you can really go without doing laundry. So as we dive headfirst into a future where we can edit genes like a text document, let's not forget the important things, like making sure we can still laugh at the absurdities of life, whether it's dealing with rogue Tupperware or dreaming of Wi-Fi enabled apples. Because at the end of the day, it's those little moments of shared understanding and humor that make us all human or part pig, depending on your organ situation, 